So we're going to be attempting to make one of Chef's recipes from Wine and Dine with Jeff. If you want to check him out, his details are in the description. He's a really, really cool YouTuber, very, very supportive to my channel. So thank you, Jeff. And his recipes are absolutely delicious. Like, they are amazing. Like, every time I watch his videos, I start to draw. So we happened to have some salmon the other day. And then his video was up about salmon, salmon fillets. So I was like, this could be, this could be the recipe that we try and reproduce. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. So we're not gonna go and show you how to do it. If you wanna see how to do it, you can check his video. Show you, we're gonna show you some steps to making it basically. So I'm gonna show you the finished product. See if it looks any good. So we'll see you guys in a second. So we're gonna go the lazy route too. We've got our sun-dried tomatoes in here. Boom. Tig is trying to pit these olives because they're not they're not pre-pitted, but these are them, Kalamata olives. I really want to eat these olives, they smell really nice. Here's an olive. Whoa! An endless olive. I wouldn't recommend pitting your own olives. <laughs> it's very tedious. <laughs> yeah, we couldn't find pitted ones, could we? Not Kalamata ones, no. Right? No. Don't mind that. There you go, olives. Olives ahoy. Okay, and then on top of that, a little bit of basil. I'm going to blitz it. So this recipe seems pretty straightforward. The only thing is cups. America, what is it with cups? I don't, we, see, we don't have cups over here. We have cups of tea, but we don't have cups to measure things with. So uh, it's... it's we're, we're using our eye, so thankfully Jeff's, Jess, <laughs> thankfully Jeff's video is very, very kind of easy to follow as well. So I've got his recipe online, but I've also got um, his video so I can see measurements a lot more clearly. Do you know what I mean? So that's the only problem we've encountered so far, but everything else is plain sailing. Or plain salmon, should I say. And good red onion. Might put a little bit too much onion in here. <laughs> I've got a tablespoon of capers going in there too. Tablespoon of capers. That's the capers song. Tablespoon of capers in they go. Tablespoon of capers. Is that about right? Oh yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> in they go. In they go. Sorry Jeff, we're kind of not doing this as elegantly as you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've added olive oil, two tablespoons, and balsamic vinegar, one t teaspoon to the mix. I'm just going to blitz it up. I, I was a bit too preemptive with my blitzing, so anyway, boom. So there's our bits of salmon. Never done this before, but our knife is blunt anyway, so... Okay. It's just supposed to get moisture out. Oh, yeah. it has. Wow, look at all that moisture. Wow. While Tig's doing that with the salmon, I'm going to dry, towel dry the other piece of salmon, and then lightly salt it. But Check out Jeff's video because it's, it's, he's in the know about how to do this. We're just kind of, we're doing it with his guidance from afar. We're not pro like he is. Not yet, anyway. What do you think of Jeff's recipe so far? Mm, it's looking interesting. I like the, um, the sauce. So the, so it's the side stuff that he's mm. made. It's really tasty. Tasty. Really tasty. So let's see how it goes. There's our salmon. So there's the finished product, with some asparagus, because we're British we've got some fries. Couldn't be bothered to make chips, we thought we'd go for fries. Ooh, lovely. Oh, look at that. So many goodness. Do you want to do a taste test, Tig? Mmm. You like? Tastes delicious. Works really well with the salmon. What do you say to Jeff? I really like your dish. I'm sorry, there's food in my mouth. <laughs> my time to shine. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Lots of amazing flavours there. It's quite salty though. I wouldn't... Personally, I wouldn't season with any salt. It doesn't need it. It's very salty, but it's nice. The flavour's really nice. Like you can taste the tomatoes and the olives. I think the olives give it so much saltiness that I think we shouldn't have added salt. But it is delicious. So nice one, Jeff. Thank you for the recipe idea. <laughs>